states voted to legalize recreational marijuana in this year's election. The state of Oregon even decriminalized small amounts. But here in Arkansas, it's only legal if it's used medicinally. Meanwhile, thousands of men and women remain behind bars facing charges for a drug that is now legal in other parts of the country. And many of those arrests are impacting communities of color disproportionately. It was the most stressful four or five years of my life. With no criminal record, Fernand Gardner was arrested, charged with possession of marijuana with intent to deliver, and sentenced to three years probation. Everybody's uh, capitalizing on it, and uh, it was it was frowned upon, you know, so much uh, a few years ago that, you know, it, it made negative change to, to a lot of our lives. Faced with consequences that would forever change his life, and there are so many others like him. Whether you had one marijuana cigarette or an ounce of marijuana mm -hmm. or a larger amount, you are treated as a hardened criminal. You're treated as somebody heinous, a menace to society. Judge Wendell Griffin says it's had a disastrous impact on minority communities. Over the years, I've had several conversations with Judge Griffin about policing, racial injustice, and inequality. But he says the events of 2020 have brought these topics to the forefront. The Bowen School of Law professor Andre Douglas Pond Cummings has studied this disparity for years and says the inequality dates back to the war on drugs. The drug laws have been enforced discriminatorily in the United States. Across races, races imbibe drugs at about the same percentages, six or seven percent of all races engage in drug use. But our prisons are filled with African American and Latin X drug sellers and drug users because the laws have been enforced in a discriminatory way. According to a 2020 study by the American Civil Liberties Union nationwide, black people are 3.6 times more likely than whites to be arrested for marijuana, despite having similar usage rates. If you take a look at the state-by-state -state breakdown, Arkansas's racial disparity is lower than the national average, with black people 2.4 times more likely to be arrested. What will happen to the people who have purchased individual uses of marijuana, individual quantities of marijuana for recreational use and have done nothing except use the marijuana. And what happens to the people who have sold them the recreational marijuana and done nothing for it? They have sold less than the acreage that we have licensed people to buy, to, to raise. And what happens to that? Nobody is asking that question and that's the reality. While medicinal marijuana was legalized in Arkansas in 2016, federally, it is still an illegal drug. In fact, it falls in one of the most restrictive classes on the schedule of controlled substances reserved for drugs with a high potential for abuse. Basically, marijuana was commercialized so that the capitalist system could generate revenue, and the revenue is being generated to benefit people who are white, let's just be honest, by and large, people who are white and wealthy are underwriting or financing the so-called medical marijuana industry. What message do you guys send? It's the message of capitalism and its hypocrisy. I think that everyone in jail for a marijuana offense should be expunged. We should commute every sentence of anyone involved in a nonviolent drug conviction where no one was harmed, where, where where weapons weren't brandished, we should, we should free them from prison. Two top state leaders disagree that marijuana should be legalized. Drug Director Kirk Lane and Surgeon General Dr. Greg Bledsoe have both urged Arkansans to be aware of products derived from cannabis, citing that marijuana is as addictive and more potent than ever before. Arkansas is one of the harshest states in the union in continuing to criminalize marijuana. We are significantly behind the time. Uh, just a small amount of possession can end up in a felony and a prison sentence. With the legislative session approaching in January, Judge Griffin says if there's going to be change here in the natural state, lawmakers need to be challenged. But there is something terribly unfair about having one part of the population that has a license to sell and use a substance with impunity 
and another part of the population that is permanently criminalized and disenfranchised for selling and using the same substance. We reached out to Governor Asa Hutchinson about legalization efforts here in Arkansas. He said in a statement, quote, I have consistently opposed the legalization of marijuana, but I also regularly pardon drug offenders who were convicted of nonviolent offenses and are trying to get a better start in life. If there is legislation proposed that expunges the record for simple possession offenses, then I would review it to see if it has the right safeguards.